Oh my god, guys, I am so freaking sorry. Every time I start doing a tutorial, someone has to call me, so I have to start my video all over again. But I'm not. I'm just going to show you where I left off. When I first started on the eyes, I already did my foundation. Oh my god, I'm so mad right now. Um, I'm taking, I took my Jumbo uh, uh, NYX eye pencil and milk, put that all over my lids, and blended it to my crease, and set it with a light yellow um, shadow, which is this one from the Profusion palette, which I've had for years, and I've never used the colors, um, but I wanted to experience, like, different colors, because I always use, like, dark colors when I make a tutorial, but when I first put on my lids, from the middle to my outer corner, was this light pink right here, then I took, then I'm take, this is where I left off, where, before I got really interrupted, I took my crease brush, um, from Eco Tools, and I pounced it into the darker pink right here, and I am using that in the outer part of my crease. If so, you kind of get like a grading effect. So, just going to put this in the outer corner of right here. Hope you guys can see that. And I kind of wiped off my brush a little bit on my pants because I'm lazy and I don't have pigtails. <laughs> but I'm kind of blending it in inward. And you can make the outer part, like the outer, people usually do an outer V. So they make it like a point. I kind of, sometimes I do it round, sometimes I do it as a V. So in this case, I'm going to do it as a V. And... I hope you guys can hear the music so you guys ain't too bored. So, but I always do like dark, dark colors and I'm tired of using dark colors. So, I thought I was like, hey, I should experiment. experiment. So, I took the darker pink and it's all over my crease now. Now I'm going to take, and these are all improvised. Okay, I said this in my last video before I got interrupted. Um... Every time I do a tutorial, it's always improvised. I never pre-think of what I'm going to do. So, you're <laughs> experiencing this as I'm doing it. Because I never figure out what I want to do. So, now, I'm trying to... I'm using two different palettes, um, by the way, too. I said that in the first video. This one's by e.l.f. Um, I've had this for about a year now. This one I've had for about two years this Profusion palette. Um, so I'm going to keep using the Profusion palette and I'm going to start go with this orangey type of color right there. So I'm going to get a different brush and I'm going to get this kind of sorry this product still I need. I need to clean my brushes. Leave it in the comments say clean your damn brushes. <laughs> um, but I'm taking this blending brush and I'm going to kind of take this little orange color, and it's very pigmented. That's why I like this palette, because they're very pigmented. And I'm going to take that, and where I put the white pink earlier, I'm going to kind of blend it in with the outer corner part. So it kind of goes like dark pink, orange, to light pink. That makes sense. And do the same to the other side. So it kind of have like a grading effect. Okay. So now, um, I'm going to get my um, eyeliner. I am using Victoria's Secret eyeliner in Exotic Plum. And I've had this for about a year and a half or so. It's very, very dark purple. It almost looks black. I know I kind of wanted to get away from black and dark colors, but I mean, when you fade, like you blend it out, it gets, it gets like a lighter color. It's really, really pretty. I like it. But what I'm going to do is put this in the waterline.
and kind of close your eye to kind of transfer it to the top. Oh, the other video I was mentioning, I seen this thing on Pinterest. This look, they took a, they took a really light, like not like light, excuse me, like an emerald green. And I'll show you what it kind of looked like. It kind of looked like this green right here, right there, like that color green. I'll kind of, you can't really swatch it. It's so pigment, not very pigmented on this one. Um, just it's very very bright, very bright green. And what they did with it is they made it kind of like a watermelon on your eye, like for spring. And also, I'm expired, expi expired, inspired from this color purp, like these purples. That's kind of what I wanted to do with the eye makeup today. I'm sorry about that. Um, I explained it all in my last video, but. They had to call me, so someone had to call me because they just know how to piss me off. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's the reason why I thought I'd do a makeup tutorial because I've, I've been oh, anyone on Pinterest. They took that lime green eyeshadow, I mean liner, and then they put like a uh, they line their eye with black, and then they put pink, like a reddish pink, from on their eyelids up to their crease, almost to their eyebrow, and I was like. That's really weird. But anyway, I'm getting back to my tutorial. <laughs> Nobody else. Alright, this purple right here, I'm going to take that on a uh, smudger brush or a pencil brush. Either either one works. I'm using this mirror because I'm so blind I can't see this mirror in front of me. So I'm going to take this purple, kind of pull down my bottom lid. And kind of smudge out that eyeliner I just put on the bottom with the purple, light purple color. Okay, so it kind of smokes into the lighter purple, even though you're supposed to like smoke into a darker purple, like a dark color. I'm doing it with a light color because I'm kind of I'm trying to get away from like because it is spring so I'm trying to get away from like the really deep 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 colors and I'm just following it all the way in so you have like a purple then a pink orange eye so now I'm going to take Mm, I'm thinking, see, this is a, uh, I'm going to take, um, let's see, because I need, I'm not going to use any really, really deep colors, like no blacks, no grays, nothing. So this is kind of more of that kind of stuff, but I'm not going to use any of that, because I don't really want a deep eye color. But I'm going to take this, like, lime green raw air. I don't know why I both of that in my country accent. Using the same pencil brush, tapping off excess, and going in the inner corner. Right? Right here, and just follow it around your tear duct. Because it'll kind of look like. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but I was just so inspired to do like a spring tutorial. I did. My, like I said in my last video, I did a spring look tutorial, and it was just, I mean, it was just, it was not me, if that makes sense. Like, I liked the way it came out and all that, but I just didn't really, like, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, kind of thing. So, and I'm going to take this, like, baby blue color right here. hope you guys can see it, and I hope I'm in frame. That would suck. I'm taking the same brush. And all my, by the way, all my brushes are from Equal Tools. Not a product placement. NYX is not a product placement, but I absolutely love their stuff. And I'm going to take it to the outer corner on the lash line. And kind of... Kind of line my lashes with it. Even though I'm going to put liner over this. 
No, I may not. I don't know yet. There's more color in the lid. It's actually kind of pretty. Seriously, I'm just doing this improvisation ship. Um, now I'm going to take this goldy, yellowish color right here. And I'm going to take it with my, like, buffing brush. I use this just for, like, white and white colors. Seriously, leave me a comment saying, clean your damn brushes. <laughs> I'm going to take this gold color, tap off the excess, and kind of go underneath right here. Not very much. Just go right under my, uh, underneath, go underneath my brow and kind of just feather it out a little bit just to bring more color in your eyes and you can't really see if you I mean unless you're like a different skin tone which is awesome I think it's awesome when you use um, like different colors I just love it I love bright colors on different skin tones I just love it so you guys do it I love it um, unless you don't like it, then I'm sorry, <laughs> but I freaking love it. Okay, so I'm going to take, because my, kind of, my outer pink kind of faded a little bit, I'm going to go back with that dark pink with the different brushes, an elf brush, an elf shadow brush, and I'm going to, this very flimsy little brush, just tap an excess, excess, and I'm kind of going right in the crease, trying to deepen that pink color just a touch and you can use a blending brush and blending it out which I'm going to do because it is very bright and I'm sorry because I'm kind of sick so this is that's why I'm kind of not trying to blow on my colors because I don't want to be make them like bad so I can't um, use them and then I'm going to take Go on the other eye and do the same. And some may transfer. You kind of just do it until you think when you're done. That's that's the way I usually do it. I just do it. I blend until I think I'm okay. And you can add color, take away color. You can do whatever you want. And after I think I have as much intensity I want, I kind of go... Um, around the edges of the dark pink because that's really the only color you can kind of see and I kind of fade it into nothing I kind of smudge the edge out so it's not like a harsh harsh line like that so now I'm going to take a blue instead of a black and I'm going to take this deep deep blue right here and I'm going to take I still gotta do my brows too. I'm just trying to do this quick. I'm taking an angled brush. You can probably see it better like this. Taking my angled brush from Eco Tools. Seriously, I love these brushes. And I'm taking my angled brush. And I'm gonna go right in the lash line. Kind of bring out that. You can wing this out if you want. I'm not going to. It kind of looks like a tie-dye on my eyes. I kind of like it, actually. And I'm going to use the same brush to do my eyebrows. Ooh, it's like a tie-dye on my eyes. I like this. All right, now I'm going to take, to do my eyebrows, I'm going to take this kind of bronzy color. Actually, I'm going to take the one up below that because that one's more brown. So I'm going to take that on the same brush. I wiped off the blue. And I kind of do my brows differently every time. I'm just kind of following my natural brows. And kind of just fill them in.
guys, leave me a, a comment below saying if you like my tutorials or not, because I, I want feedback because that's how I am. Because I want to know if you guys enjoy watching me torture myself. No, I'm just kidding. I love makeup. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I didn't want to sound harsh when I said that. Okay, now I'm going to take my e.l.f. pigment. And yes, it's in a MAC container. You probably can't, to, couldn't tell that, but it's in a MAC container. Um, I tried their vanilla pigment, and I I loved it, but I ain't paying no friggin' like $20 to use it. But I'm going to take on my finger, make sure your hands are clean too, and just kind of push it in the inner corner. Even though I put green there, it's going to, and I'm going to put it right underneath my eyebrow. The arch of your eyebrow. Make sure you put it right where the arch is. And then kind of blend it with that gold that you put there. Boom. And then you kind of take your ring finger. Kind of blend in the white so it's not like white, you know. You can put more green to bring out the color back out with the green. I really like this. <laughs> it's kind of really pretty. Now I'm going to take mascara. Yes, I'm going to use black <laughs> mascara because you got to have black mascara. But this is by Maybelline New York, the Rocket Volume Express. And I got this at Ulta. I'm so happy they brought Ulta out here where I live. They have one way, 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 way from me. And I went to that one and... I'm happy they put one where I can actually go to it, because it don't cost me <laughs> no money to go to this one. It's like right there, right down the block. And yeah, so clear lashes to when you like. I don't usually do the bottom. That's just me. I don't do the bottom. <laughs> now I'm gonna do lips, and I'm gonna do a pink lip. Because I usually do a nude lip, so I want to do pink lip. This is all <laughs> lip stuff, believe it or not. So I'm going to get a really light pink. I have this one and this one. I have more pink, but I kind of just like these two right now. This one's by NYC, and this is an off brand. This came in like a little little kid makeup kit. If I may take this one, it's, a bit, ooh, it's very frosty and pink, you can't really see it. So, I want something you can actually see and it's pink. This one's kind of the same thing, it's just, this is more pink. You guys can see it, it's way more pink. So, <laughs> and I'm not going to use bronzer, I may do, uh, And you can put a pinky lip gloss. I don't own a pinky lip gloss. I have a red lip gloss, but that's just too much, I think. Um, but I may put some kind of lip gloss. I may use my NYC Very Clear. It's a plumping one. Uh, I'm gonna try it in the center. And use me a little bit. Like I used to do so much. It looked like I'm swimming in <laughs> lip gloss. Cause I absolutely love this one. This one is like my favorite. I've had this for like four years. <laughs> and I still haven't used it. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> it came, all came out. <laughs> Alright. Pink lips. Really bold. Colorful eyes. I like it. Then I'm going to take this. Like, if you don't want it, this crap on your teeth, there's a trick. You take any, like, paper towel, wet wipe or something, wrap it around your finger, go. What? Let's do it again. It looks dirty. It looks wrong. But <laughs> it will get all the inner part of your lip, so it won't get on your teeth. It, there's a technique called that but I don't know what it is. Now I'm gonna take since I'm doing like a like a spring look, I'm going to do a rosy kind of cheek because I don't really do 
<laughs> um, where's that's called? Oh my gosh, blush. There it is. Cause I I have naturally red cheeks anyway. But I'm gonna take. You can't really see this, huh? I'm not gonna take that. Um, I'm gonna take a lipstick and use it as my blush. So that lipstick I just used on my lips. Okay, I'm gonna take that and kind of. You can't really see it. Crap. Because <laughs> I, I mean, I don't really use, um, I do not use, I can't, I have this. This is by NYC. It's a blushable cream stick. And I will have this. There you go. There's, now you can see, see it. So I'm going to take now, I'm going to take my hand, or you can use a brush, and kind of work it back. I really do not wear blush, like, ever. Even when I'm going out or anything, I do not wear blush. I just don't like the way it looks on me, because I don't think I need it. Now I'm going to take this NARS Super Orgasm one, and I... Absolutely adore this. I'm almost out. <laughs> I want to put this right on top of my cheekbones. Kind of blend it in just a little bit. And I put this down my nose. And you can contour, guys. I'm not going to contour because um, it's spring. You don't really need to be bronzed out. <laughs> You want to see what kind of light colors. And that's basically it. <laughs> so, if you guys will let me, do me the honor of letting me know what you guys think. And tell me, should I keep, well, I'm going to keep doing these anyway. Um, <laughs> if, uh, if you like it. Um, and, yeah. I really didn't use purple. I said this was my inspiration, but it's really just kind of pink. I'm kind of, I was using light colors just to portray springtime because I like, I like spring. I really love the sp uh, summer and fall. I don't like winter, but <laughs> especially where I live. It's crappy. But, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below um, what you like. Do you like the eye makeup? Do you, like, what other color should I play with, basically? And I appreciate it. And please subscribe and like and comment and favorite so you'll be notified anytime I make a new video. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video. <laughs> and it means a lot to me. And I'm trying to make my channel grow, so please hit subscribe, sh share it with your friends, everything. So... Um, I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!